mo most people in here know that, that I was part of the rugby club and so was Matt. So I knew Matt before him and Amy were together. So, so that, that could have been quite difficult and I think it, it may well have been quite difficult um, right up until we decided to take Amy out for a rating birthday party down the nightclub. And then this, this, this young gentleman over here, I've got to take my hat off here, he had the bottle to come and ask me, can I go out with your daughter? He did then duck and run in the other direction very, very fastly, which, which was great. But that said a lot to me about Matt, is that, you know, he was a genuine guy. He, he had the balls to stand up and, and, and ask me for that, and, and I appreciate that. I think he's been ragged by the rugby club on a daily basis for the fact that I'm going to kill him. Every, every single day of that. And, and I'm not, I, everyone knows that I'm a lover and not a fighter. <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? Love you, Pops. Excellent, and if you say that anymore, you're in trouble. But, okay, so, so he did actually fall into the, into the habit of calling me Dad quite a few times before that. And, and you get the twitchy eye and, and all the rest of it. But actually, he's, he's allowed to do that. So I was trying to write this speech a little bit last week and a little bit again this morning. And I was look, I've been looking back on the journey that Amy and I have been on over the last almost five years uh, and I realised how far we've come together. We started off with a typical proper cough, classy first date. We went to the Jag and then we finished off with a good session in Rainbows to the kickers out. But just after we got together, I was, uh, I was eyeing up a, a, a little bachelor pad for myself. So I put a deposit down on a bachelor pad and sadly it was the bachelor pad that never was because by the time it was uh, by the time it was built my previous lifestyle had been kiboshed a little bit but she actually moved in with me by accident so it started off you know what it's like lads you know it started off with a with a toothbrush and before you know it, it's got a few items of clothing there and, and it just sort of happened from there and I still to this day for almost five years in I haven't actually asked her to move in with me but it got to the stage where I said you might as well have a uh, key cause it's, just because it's convenient <laughs> My first experience of Matt was on his first rugby tour. At that time he wasn't going out with Amy in any, any way, shape or form. But I, the first time I noticed him, he was bright blue. And he was dressed as a Smurf. So it was a lasting impression of Matt. But, but the way that I dealt with it is like this. So every time I got a little bit frustrated and worried what Matt and Amy were doing or, or anything he said and stuff like that, is, is I had this and it just reminded me of Matt. And, and it's great because I've got a gun at home as well. Haven't I, Matt? And I can shoot at this as well. And there's a few bullet holes still in here. But this is the best bit here. This is a rat trap. It's brilliant. But after we've been together for a few years, it was time to, to pop the question and to ask Amy to marry me. However, in the, in the build-up to the proposal, because we had, obviously, we'd done the couples thing, we spoke about it, and Amy turned, it was the early stages of bridal event, before she was even a bride, and she did, she, she turns to me one day, we're, we're lying in bed, and she said, look, if you don't think we're going to get engaged and stuff, then maybe this isn't going to, you know, maybe we've got no future together. And little did she know that I already had a ring bought, <laughs> sat waiting at my mum's house out the way where she can spy on it. I can't put into words how good it feels to finally call you my wife. From our first date, you and I, I think we were, I think we were meant to be. Uh, you're my best friends, you're my soulmate, uh, and I'm looking forward to us, as the song said when you were walking down the aisle, I'm looking forward to us growing old together. Seeing you smile is everything for me, eh? and, uh, <laughs> and I, promise to, I promise that I'll do everything I can to make you smile every day for the rest of our lives. Thank you for marrying me and for loving me so much.